We are the Filipina and the foreigner. We are here outside on a nice yeah. cool evening. It's really nice tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Really cool. What would you say about 20, what would you guess, 23 degrees? 22? I guess 24. Wow. It's quite a bit uh, chilly. Chilly. Yes. She's chilly. <laughs> but uh, tonight we just had an interesting topic because yeah. we were listening to different uh, people talk about things that happened to them. Yeah. And <laughs> so we thought we'd talk about some like things to be aware of or more seriously maybe some dangers in the Philippines. Crimes in the Philippines. Crimes. Say it again. Crimes. <laughs> Crimes. <laughs> Crimes in the Philippines. Crimes in the Philippines. So um, you, ha you had the, the most uh, I guess terrifying story to tell. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll save that one to last. Uh, uh, Stay tuned. <laughs> anyway, yeah. don't skip to the end. <laughs> yes. Finish the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Yeah, we appreciate it. And you can that. make some comments. Yeah. So we can make um, content in your comments. Any questions, yeah. guys? And tell us about your cat. See right here? Well, did you take it up? Oh, no, there it is. Like there. Look. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Over here, there's some uh, little bits food. of food. Yeah. We have a, a strange stray cat that visits. And mm. uh, Wella Mahal, Filipina, <laughs> likes to feed it. So it's a, our unofficial pet. Yeah. <laughs> so all you cat lovers, leave your comments below. Yeah, so... I love cats, but he's um, allergy to, allergic to cats. So uh, it makes so sad. Yeah. I want allergic. cats. And I want dogs, <laughs> but as of the moment, we can do that. Yeah. Well, you yeah. never know. Maybe I can get. Maybe, In the meantime. You know, sometimes allergies kind of wear off too. Like it, I haven't been around cats yeah. a lot, so maybe we can give it a try. See what happens. Anyway, back to our crimes in the Philippines. No. <laughs> Brace so, yourself for the cons in the Philippines because well, this one is really, really happening here in the yeah, Philippines. Yeah, it really happened, yeah. But yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a video just to kind of say, you know, beware, watch out for yourself, always be aware of your surroundings, that yes. kind of thing. I mean, you can't really control what happens, but you can try to kind of keep on top of things by being aware of your situation. So uh, I was listening to one of the foreigner guys on, on YouTube, and he was saying how his wife... And this is up in Angeles, so it's, it's a little north. Yeah, We're in Mindanao. Angeles Ang City. Yeah, what do you think of Angeles City Ang before city I mention it? Is, is, that, is that a good city? <laughs> Angeles City is, uh, you know, it's a um, you know, progressive city also in the Philippines. Where there's, there's a lot of expat there okay. because uh, it, it's the USA naval base located. Oh, that's what, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. USA naval base is there. Yes. It seems to me yeah. like it's a bit more of a wilder Pampanga city. Pampanga Park, something is like it? that. Is it more of a wilder city? Like, you know, nightlife, that kind of thing? Mm, I guess. That's yeah. the kind of impression I got. Anyway, he was talking about how his wife got held up at knife point there in Angeles City. And, uh, you know, so that was like a terrible thing to have to go through. Which made me think about it. Like, do you think they were tracking her because she seen they were seeing her with him being a foreigner and thought, okay, well maybe they could jump her and she would have some of his money? Or do you think it might have been a thing like that? What do you think? I don't know. Uh, maybe I guess. Yeah. But yeah, because we cannot, you know, because some of the Filipino when. Uh, they think that foreigner is like a gold mine. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. But not all. Yeah. The, some foreigners, they're just uh, like, uh, same to us. It's typical Filipino. They're typical, you know, foreigner. Yeah, not all. Because some of the Filipi uh, some foreigners came here just because of our um, cheaper cost of living. So, meaning to say, they don't like their area because it's so expensive and they cannot live a normal life there. While here in the Philippines, it's they can do whatever they want because of the weather, something like that. The reason that it's the tax is like, there's no such such things there. We have tax, but it's really minimal. Minimal, yeah. yes. 
Yeah, and it's all true. So anyway, that was one thing that I came across, and I was like, wow, that's kind of scary. It made me think that, okay, as a foreigner, like you said, I'm kind of like the pot of gold walking around, and everyone is looking at me thinking, okay. I think it's, great. it's a great thing now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, asked her, I asked her today, so did you find a job in Canada yet? <laughs> <laughs> because when because um, I think the other day I shared to her to him since I have this best friend from college up to this time she's really um, uh, really my best friend like for ups and downs yes and uh, I don't want to mention mention her name and her workplace but that was a scary story we're holding yes. that story she's yes. jumping ahead. <laughs> she worked in the bank. So the, the lesser next story, mm -hmm. which is a lot lesser, but still makes you be aware of your surroundings. I was mm -hmm. watching another foreigner guy. He's actually pretty close to where we are. And he was saying like his, his backyard is surrounded in barbed wire, but someone was still in his yard. He said, looking around for something or other. And he said he mm -hmm. didn't know what. So he just said, you know, be on, be on your toes kind of thing. Because as a foreigner here, you, you kind of be always... You know, in your mind, keep your mind uh, open to your surroundings, I guess. Always be a little yes. extra cautious. Yes. But now, the, the really amazing story is with Wella's friend. Yes, um, she worked in the bank and just uh, like a month ago, uh, their banks got robbed. Yeah, and it's really scary because, <laughs> like, after her work, she just doing something maybe she she's uh, texting someone and without knowing that outside there is a commotion outside so uh, the security guard uh, they they're fighting with the rubber but sad to say the gun from the security guard just get it from the rubber so and then the rubber get inside the bank and then like what do we call this one? He will he pull, pull back. Yeah, yeah. Cock, I wish yes. I cocked the gun. He yes, cocked the gun. yes. And then, um, just like, uh, I pull the trigger? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> pull the trigger. And then, it so happened that uh, my my friend was in the, uh, she's a, tel a teller. So, it's um, blessings that she is hiding immediately in the in the table yeah and but it's really traumatic because um the when when the rubber um click the trigger it didn't work out like yeah the bullet get clogged yeah amazing yes. i think yes. that's that's the grace of yes. god really grace of god and after that incident, um, since they are still, all the employers are still in the, in the bank, so they try to pin down the rubber. Yeah, you said yeah. like six people jumped on them or yes, something? Yes, even women helped to pin down the rubber, uh, but sad to say, and sad to say that the rubber is their security guard. Yeah, the off-duty security guard. So it's really scary and traumatic traumatic in in my friend's case because um, she has the for two weeks she has a bodyguard yeah going home and going to the office yeah, yeah. so these are just some things to think about as we're just yeah. telling you about real life examples that happened quite recently within the last mm -hmm. you know couple of days weeks that kind of thing so things to remember just kind of keep your eyes open around you now what, what's your opinion about me like uh like you say i'm kind of like a pot of gold just because I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a guy who's considered a foreigner even though i'm not a pot of gold they don't know that <laughs> so uh, what's your advice to someone like me who comes over here and just like because anybody can just, just kind of be careful and don't track a track attract criminals <laughs> like for example sitting outside your apartment at night holding an ipad <laughs> doing a video I don't, I don't <laughs> this know. is not a good idea <laughs> i don't know i don't know guys but because um uh like 
4 or 5 p.m. We already at home and we don't walk like walking at night. No, we don't. Yeah. And just be careful and be more cautious in your surroundings. Yeah. Yeah. You think it, it helps being in the city, for example, we were in Davao City, a more secure mm -hmm. city. Does it help to be in a, like if some foreigner is coming over to visit and trying to think about all these things, is it better for him to plant himself in like the big city like that to be more secure, as opposed to being out like in more of a province area? You know guys, wherever you are, wherever you may go, if it's your time, it's your time, you cannot avoid it. I disagree. <laughs> I think you can set yourself because up for bad even happening. in the province or in the city, there's always a crime. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm. even in North America, right? Yeah. I, mean, I look on the Fox News and see all kinds of crazy stuff happening. So it's not like it's singled out here or anything. We're just trying to make you aware that, you know, be careful. Because yeah, you have the added difference over here is that if you're a foreigner, they just look at you as a pot of gold, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the added difference that we're trying to make, you know, be yeah. aware of that. So. Because... Uh, even here, while we're going to somewhere, maybe in, in the mall, something like that, and then we just uh, ride a motorcycle, they even ask, Mom, if you're interested, uh, we have this house and lot for sale in the nearby area. And yeah. I say, oh, that's so nice, uh, sir, but sad to say we don't have that money. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Mm. They know we're they poor. They always say that. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they don't come attack yeah. us. Mm. <laughs> we're poor. Like, uh, three guy already uh, approached us just to, you know, sell something about us. But I always say, oh, we are not rich. <laughs> we have been rented a cheaper apartment. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah. really great, by the way. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's new apartment. Yeah. yeah. So it's... Yeah. <laughs> that works out. Now we're getting off topic. But anyway, I hope that some of these thoughts will, um, you know, help you just to be aware of your surroundings and think about things as you come to the Philippines. Yeah. You cannot avoid crimes because even outside the Philippines, it happens all the time. Yeah. So yeah. just keep praying that God will protect, from, uh, protect us from harm. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. And just remember that coming to the Philippines as a foreigner, you stick out as a pot of gold. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in the U.S., there's lots of crimes happening, but they're not exactly just looking at me because I'm a foreigner. I'm just another face in the crowd. But over here, you kind of stand out, and you're, you're almost treated like a bit of a celebrity almost, which is kind of odd. Yes, it's like, because you know, everyone says we every, are not, like hello we to you we and everything. We don't live in the proper in the city proper. We we live in the uh, next barangay. Yeah, so yeah. that's why in this area it's not. We, uh, we don't have much neighbors, so every time we go out, Hey, Joe! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah, so it's always like that. It's like that. Mm -hmm. so, so he's a celebrity in, in our Porok. <laughs> porok Ono. <laughs> yeah, but you told me before in another video, you're, you're a bit of a celebrity too, because when you go out, they treat you differently than before, yeah. right? They call me, Madam, Madam, I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Madam Domin. <laughs> Boy, are yeah. we fooling everybody. <laughs> but anyway, some tips. Hope you are helped by them. <laughs> and as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch the whole video. And write a comment down and click the notification bell for more videos to come. Also, a promo for our, our earlier videos. They don't have a lot of views. When we got started, we were in LDR, long distance relationship, but we had some nice conversations and they were quite funny at times, I think. We just really enjoyed each other's conversation. Mm -hmm. So check out some of the very uh, early on videos. I think you'll have uh, um, a good laugh as you uh, check some of those out, don't you think? Yeah. I think we had a lot of fun in those videos. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I yeah. agree with you. Yeah. So that's why you asked me if we're still having fun while <laughs> Are we? doing we're still having fun? <laughs> conversation because it's uh, when, when we are still in LDR, we keep laughing and we enjoy the moment talking to each other. Now it's quiet yeah. at the dinner table and she's on her phone. <laughs> Guys, he's really sick. Then every time I, every time I hug him or kiss him, he was just turn away from me. What? what? I don't want to. I want to breathe <laughs> on her. I don't mind if he is sick. Yeah. But I don't know why. 
He's scared yeah. of me. No, I just don't want her to get sick. <laughs> anyway, we're having trouble hanging up, so goodbye. Thank you and God bless.